Okay, we're gonna make a thing here that you throw in a fire, campfire, and it'll change the color of the flames to uh, blue and green. You get reds and just all kinds of colors. Just a few simple things you need. A 3 16th inch drill bit. A piece of one inch copper pipe, plumbing pipe. And if you cut it, oh, about a foot long. A piece of garden hose. An old junk one works fine. And that's just about 12 inches long also. An old coat hanger. I'm gonna have a marker and a drill. And we'll put this thing together and show you how it works um, after we get it together. Uh, one other thing that I remembered you should have is some safety glasses because uh, you get something in your eye, you'll be digging that out. So you put those on. And what you want to do, take the copper pipe, put a mark about two inches, four inches, six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. And then rotate the pipe 90 degrees. So you got, you're going to have a row of marks here. And then if we rotate the pipe 90 degrees, we're going to put marks in between those. And those would be two inches apart also. And then we'll just kind of That's where we're going to drill holes all the way through the pipe. You're going to want to have a vise to put that pipe in to hold it nice and tight. Um, really makes it handy. And then you're going to want to drill all the way through the pipe on each one of the marks. You don't have to be real precise as you can see this one's not straight with that one doesn't really matter then when you get those all drilled turn it 90 degrees and you drill the other set of and after all those are drilled Got to be a little bit careful with it because there are some sharp edges here and I'll show you a trick that you can do to get rid of those sharp edges. You can use a real large like a half inch drill bit and you can just kind of put it in that hole and just give it a little twist. Clean those burrs off from there. You can just use this copper pipe and throw it in a fire without doing all this and you'll get some pretty good color out of it. But something to do with that garden hose when you slip it on the inside of that um, really enhances the colors than if you were to just throw the copper pipe in there. So after you got them holes drilled and you can see that they go all the way through this way and all the way through this way. Okay, we're gonna attach the coat hanger as a handle to the pipe. So just take the coat hanger all apart and untwist it whatever you got to do and after you get it fairly straight so it'll go through those holes mm -hmm. put it through the holes so it's halfway and then just bend it back around And when you get to the other end, you might even want to maybe put a little loop here so that you can pull it out of the fire. Hmm, it's hard to bend. If you had a pair of pliers, it would make things easier too. And that makes a nice little handle for it as it goes in the fire. So then, the next thing you do is load the garden hose into the end of the pipe. Depending on the size of the garden hose, it could fall out before you get to the fire. So what you might want to do 
take your pliers again and just squeeze the end of it a little bit just to give it a little bit of resistance going in so the garden hose doesn't accidentally fall out. A little bit more. Oh, no it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now it's staying in there pretty good. And that's all you do. Um, tonight, when it gets dark, we'll build a fire. And um, it works best to have a lot of coals. And you just bury it underneath the logs inside the coals with the handle sticking out. And um, we'll see what it does tonight. Um, when you do build your fire and you have this out there, this will be glowing cherry red when you pull it out of the fire after the garden hose burns up and the color starts fading. So you're going to want to have like a oven mitt to grab onto the wire with and then a bucket of water so you can cool it off real quick so nobody gets burned. So you just got to find a nice little spot to put it in there. I think probably right in there. It'll work, it'll work better when there's a lot of flame. So you're gonna put your mitt on. And just work that into the fire there a little bit. And leave the handle of the copper tube out here so you can grab it to pull it out later. And once it's in there you'll start noticing the fire changing colors. Okay, you can see some green fire up here and there's some blue way down in there. When you do this at a campground everybody really looks and checks out your fire because it's not many people have that colorful of a fire. Would you ever recommend having two in there, Dad? Oh, you could. But uh, after the color does go away, you want to grab that handle and pull it out and cool this copper pipe off. If you leave it in the fire, it'll just burn up and you'll have to make another one. Um, but you can reuse it after it's cool. Put another piece of hose in there and put it back in there or save it for the next campfire. So I'll pull it out and you can see how hot it is. And I get, we got a bucket of water here that we'll dump, dunk it in to uh, cool it off. Wow. Extremely hot. So you don't want to just lay it down, you'll catch your grass on fire or burn somebody. So you bring it over your bucket of water. You ready? Yep. And now it's safe to touch. And even after we pulled it out, you can still see there's some color in the fire still. It's just like residue. Yep. Cool. Well, happy camping.